I'm going to assess one of my students' letters today. Um, she has written down the date on the top, that is 22 March 2010, which is the date of letter, that's good. And then she has written down the district nurse, district nursing center, um, Lake Park, isn't it? Lake Park. Okay, that's good. And uh, you know, the, the letter K could have been better. It's not that visible, do you know what I mean? It sounds like okay. one and two. <laughs> You're writing like one, <laughs> two. Yeah. So make it much better, okay? Write like this. Okay, so somewhat better, all right? Somewhat readable. All right, let's go through that. Uh, the next one is DSR slash madam, that's good. And then Mr. Andrew O'Connor, aged 74, that's also good, I'm happy with that. I'm writing this letter to refer Mr. Connor. No, it's not Connor, Mr. O'Connor. O'Connor is the surname. It's not just Connor. Whenever you see any apostrophe is there. Okay, look at this apostrophe. So they actually belong to the same word, okay? Same oh, okay. name. They, they belong to surname only. Yeah. O'Connor is the surname. All right. So, um, so, Mr. Connor, that's wrong. It must be Mr. O'Connor. Okay. That's the correct one, okay? All right, age 74, that's good. I'm writing this letter to refer Mr. O'Connor. So you have to replace it with O'Connor, who was admitted to the hospital with the, the right side paralysis. Okay, he's being discharged today. Okay, so I'm writing this letter to refer Mr. O'Connor, who was admitted to the hospital with the right side paralysis. All right, so you should have stopped here itself. Okay, you could have placed um, you know, a full stop here instead of writing down a comma. All right. Okay, so what you could have done is, okay, give me one minute. So paralysis, comma. Paralysis, comma. Could have been paralysis, full stop, okay? That could, be, that could have been a full stop. All right, next one is, is being discharged. So this one could have been much better. I mean, you could have written on in a new sentence, okay? He is being discharged today and therefore he requires follow-up care and assistant. It's not assistant, I don't know, it's assistance due to his slow recovery, okay? All right, so what you could have done is that instead of writing down is being discharged today, you could have written on in a separate sentence. He is being discharged today and requires and then you can write down whatever you want to write down okay and requires uh, follow-up care and assistance due to slow recovery requires follow-up care and assistance it's not assistant assistant is a person assistance is a noun you know i mean the assistant provide a person can provide assistance do you know what i mean so assistance um due to his slow recovery due to his slow recovery okay write this sentence in the introduction paragraph okay please please write this now and the assistant is not good you have to write down assistance isn't it Oops. so are, um, are you requesting the addressee to provide an assistant to do this work or to help them out? No, it's not the case, right? It's only assistance, I believe. Yes. Okay, no worries. Let's go to the next one. Initially, uh, Mr. O'Connor, it's again like O'Connor only, presented to our hospital with the cerebrovascular accident. Cerebrovascular is one word only. Cerebral vascular or cerebrovascular? Do you know which one it is? Is it cerebral or cerebro? They just mentioned uh, CV, CV just okay then it's not cerebral actually and cerebral no cerebral vascular okay it's going to be cerebrovascular and it is one word only cerebrovascular is one word only okay try not to write down two words after them cerebrovascular yes. accident which results um, as now which resulted in a right side hemiplegia okay 
which results in it's not the it's in the past tense okay it already occurred isn't it so don't say which results in as and then you write down right side okay sorry one moment so right side hemiplegia hemiplegia which said hemiplegia all right so what you should have done is which resulted in which resulted in a right side hemiplegia okay that is what you should have done all right so resulted in you need to use resultant in the use of a preposition isn't good here that's wrong okay during hospitalization mr o'connor again o'connor okay has been regaining gradually consequently he requires assistant uh, for his um, daily living activities again it's not assistant but assistance okay Oops. assistant that's wrong it's assistance okay all right okay good let's go to the next one he requires assistance uh, for his daily living activities or daily activities that's okay however he is independent with the intake of food however he is he is independent with the intake of food that's okay additionally his walking is slowly okay his walking is slowly with the frame that's wrong his walking is slow with the frame Slow. Yes, slowly with the frame. That's wrong. Slow with the frame. He is. He is slow with the frame. Okay, that's what you have to do. Right. Sometimes, comma, he experienced mood changes like angry. Okay, try not to use. Uh, like in your letter okay like is an informal phrase we have to use such as okay such as okay all right okay let's say um sometimes he experienced the sometimes is one word only is it one word or two words what did you write here sometimes he has just some gap between but but is that one word only my question is is that one word what was your intention no, I two words okay that's wrong sometimes is one word only okay it's one word only all right let's go to the next one like cannot be used don't use like okay. like can be used in speaking but not in writing okay writing is 100% formal remember that mood changes like angry happy and then fearful fearful uh, and fearful okay changes like anger happiness and fear you should have used okay these are the mood changes isn't it mood changes are the nouns you don't need to use the adjectives after them so angry is an adjective happy is an adjective fear tearful is it tearful tearful sir yeah tearful is an adjective as well so do not use adjective after the noun phrase so this is the noun phrase so you're saying mood changes like blah 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 so these are the adjectives okay but unfortunately you are explaining the nouns isn't it plural nouns so these are the plural nouns okay 1 2 3 4 so you what you should have done is you should have mentioned okay instead of writing down angry happy and there's another issue as well angry uh, has spelling mistakes it, it doesn't need any e after that okay happy and tearful so instead of that you should have mentioned anger happiness and tears okay that's the best way of writing now okay you need to use the nouns only after mood changes okay okay sir all right let's go to the next one therefore a uh, family meeting was held few days ago okay family meeting meeting is uh, an accountable uh, noun so you should have used a uh, family meeting a uh, family meeting was held so you should have mentioned was family meeting a uh, family meeting okay was held a few days ago that's all right post discharge mrs uh, oh, sorry mr um requests requests the district nurse it's not requests 
this is spelling mistake okay so you you have used i so you have said r e q u i s t s that's wrong this is wrong okay you got to use request okay r e q u e s t s request something okay request the district nurse who can visit okay after can we should not use verb plus yes remember that after can who can visit that's wrong who can visit after an auxiliary verb okay like can could may might and so on you should be able to use only the present verb that is verb form only do not use verb plus yes form that is wrong okay who can visit two times a day to assist him uh, for toileting and grooming that's okay um, for this for his safety comma hand rails in bathroom and toilet bathroom and toilet and uh, her bed rails are essential okay see this one for his safety dash hand rails in bathroom and toilet and bed rails okay so hand rails in bathroom and toilet and bed rails so these rails are they the hand rails as well in bed are they the hand rails as well i'm just asking you a question hand rails is for uh, uh, bathroom, bathroom and toilet only and the, okay yes sir and the bed rails for a bed okay so who is going to arrange this did they mention in the case notes or uh, does the patient already have these things at his own i think they mentioned they need or oh, they need then you have to uh, ask her to arrange it okay isn't it so she needs yeah. to check with her uh, she to yes she needs to arrange it okay so what you could have done for his safety hand rails in bathroom and toilet rails and bed rail okay hand hand rails in bathroom and toilet and bed rails um, are necessary are essential which need to be arranged um, which need to be arranged something like that you know which need to be arranged uh, essential to arrange it essential to be arranged or essential to be arranged okay yes so what you could have done is essential so instead of that are essential to be arranged okay otherwise um you can mention this one okay for his safety arranging hand rails in bathroom and toilet and bed rails are essential so you can mention arranging means yes yeah, she is going to do it i mean the uh, the address is going to arrange this okay so that's fine okay. socially mr o'connor it should be o'connor lives with his wife who has been suffering uh, with okay suffering always goes with the with uh, i'm sorry from okay suffering with okay suffering always goes with the from okay suffering from however the most appropriate one is experiencing okay experiencing is more formal so it's better to use experiencing okay hands you know it would be great highly appreciated if you could please monitor let me go through the next page monitor the patient and his wife's health status got good that's good i'm happy with that mr connor's follow up is being scheduled three times a week that's good if you requires not wrong requires is used only with the third form of the singular nouns that is a third person singular nouns such as he she and it so if you require okay you requires that's wrong so if you require okay yes uh, let me write down maybe if you as well if you require okay it's not requires okay all right any further information comma and you will think his condition is being deteriorated do not hesitate to contact me and re refer him to our hospital okay all right good if you require any further information and you think okay if you require any further in the information and if his condition is being deteriorated and his condition is being deteriorated okay and you will think okay in, in these things can be 
the node okay and this condition sorry and uh, give me one moment and and you will think and you will think okay instead of that r okay you can just replace it with the r okay you can say if you require any further information r his condition is being deteriorated okay deteriorated the spelling is correct do not hesitate to contact us that's not do not hesitate to contact us but please do not hesitate to contact us okay do not say do not but use please do not okay use the polite phrases before do not do not hesitate to contact me and re refer him to our hospital that's good you are sincerely kama the charge nurse okay all right that's good and you could have given a space you know a blank line between you are sincerely and uh, the charge nurse okay here you could have given it should a... be one cap no no i said blank line one blank line in between the charge nurse that's okay this is correct but give a blank okay, line sir. between yours sincerely and then the charge okay, nurse sir. okay these okay, two things sir. may have a blank line in between all right okay sir okay let me check whether you have included all the relevant case notes or not okay let's go to the writing task section first okay that's an all answer that's okay all right writing task you are a charge nurse on the hospital ward where mr o, mr o connor see this one it's already mentioned i don't know why you haven't um, used you know mr o connor you know the name of the uh, patient correctly in your letter as resided during his hospital say um using the information given in the case notes write the letter of referral to the district nurse at the district nursing center lake park who will be attending to mr o connor after his discharge okay that's all right expand the relevant case notes into complete sentences do not use note form use uh, letter forms that's all right let's go through the case notes okay you are the charge nurse at the north west rehabilitation hospital overseeing mr o connor okay so the name is mr andrew o connor that's good age 74 years old that's good date uh, 19 march 2010 that's all right Mar marital status married and then religion catholic that's not needed you don't need to mention that and you didn't mention that isn't it in your letter am i right yes sir no. admission date is okay discharge date is all right and then cva okay it's cerebro vascular accident right side hemiplegia that is paralysis okay that's all right social and family history okay social and family history that is retired the backer that's not needed and then 71 year old wife mary has angina that the, that needs to be informed yes that's right and two married children do not live nearby did you include this one in your letter no sir okay because they they don't have any other support so you, you need to mention that there two uh, married children uh, do not live with them okay they, they do not live with i mean live nearby or something like that they lives in um, lives in three bedroom family home in lake park that's okay prior to stroke recreational activities included fishing and golf uh, prior to stroke so you are writing down a letter to the social worker isn't it is that the social worker sorry um our oh, district nurse okay all right that's fine then it's okay that's not needed actually medical history is see doctor's notes to be forwarded mm -hmm. okay so okay medical history and medications all right management and progress during hospital stay slow progress despite intensive physiotherapy and occupational therapy she still requires assistance of the dressing toileting getting in and out of bed okay excuse me sir yes if we are writing a letter to a social worker we we have to include all these plan yeah, information all, all the social information yes yes you need to so from the social point of view it's going to be more important and relevant than the other things okay all right slow program despite intensive physiotherapy and occupational therapy still requires assistance with the dressing toileting that's all right mobilizes slowly with the frame can feed himself that's okay and uh, mood swings angry tearful happy irrelevant okay all right 
first meeting held on blah 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 advised nursing home placement family refused ot home assessment 113 okay modifications carried out including handrails and bathroom oh they have been already men i have uh, been already done can you see this modifications carried out yeah they have been yes. already done ot occupation therapy assessment have been already done so uh, you don't need to worry too much about that but you should yeah i think yeah the one that you have mentioned is all right discharge plan attendance at uh, day hospital uh, three times a week statistic nurse to visit twice daily to assist transferring in and out of bed you know movement grooming and hygiene needs monitor medications monitor how patient is coping at home not also wife's health okay they need to provide uh, they need to monitor the wife's health status as well and you have mentioned it good re refer to uh, hospital if necessary try not to use same words like re refer you can say refer to the hospital again refer to the hospital or refer back to, yeah i mean you can no you can say refer back refer to the hospital again okay you don't need to use re refer once again i mean try to use at least some synonyms okay at least the the ones that can make up okay so i believe you have included all the relevant case notes which is good i'm very happy with that all right let me go through the assessment now grammar is one of the main areas of improvement patient's name is incorrectly spelled throughout the letter which is not good it makes a negative impact on your writing it's not good okay spelling is another area of improvement whenever you commit any spelling mistakes please go back and then write down you know the correct spelling at least uh, 20 times okay but if you commit the same spelling mistake once again you have to write down at least 50 times Okay, it's like a punishment, all right? Because okay. if you keep on committing these mistakes, it's not good, okay? And then use of prepositions and use of prepositions, nouns, verbs, and articles is not up to the mark. I'm not happy with the way that you have used prepositions and articles, okay? Especially, you know, nouns and verbs. You know, if you you al always go with the the verb only okay and uh, yeah so try try to use you know formal words only you have to use more formal words that's another issue Voc vocabulary should have more formal words and synonyms okay you should have more uh, words and synonyms formal words and synonyms okay all right so assistant and assistants you know remember these things all right connectivity is okay it seems to me that you have used only you have used mainly the mainly used the simple sentences but not complex not much complex or compound sentences you could have added like instead of writing down consequently you know the new sentence of the consequently you could have mentioned and consequently okay you could have made it a compound sentence by adding and in between okay you could have done that for okay. some of them okay uh okay. you you were able to expand all the abbreviations are good i'm very happy with that and then um, you know organization of case notes and layout of the letter are fair enough they are fine they are fine okay you have included all the relevant case notes well done you have done a good job i'm happy with that overall task fulfillment is also fine okay all right okay expected score okay let me go through the errors that you have committed 
and then their severity on the you know on the whole letter okay you have changed the patient's name which is not good that's very bad use of punctuation marks could have been better and then all these things okay they are the major areas okay that's not good they are the major areas of improvement okay according to me this one sounds like a maybe a 270 out of 500 grade letter Okay. I wish you good luck with your next assessment. Uh, please write down, you know, more letters, but proofread them. Were you able to proofread this letter? Yes, sir. Okay, and you were not able to find out these mistakes, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, incorrectly spelling, you know, the name of the patient or changing the prefix of the patient. Patient is one of the common mistakes committed by. Your all the students okay so please be careful at least whenever they practice you know they do commit this mistake at least once which is not good okay do you understand yes anyway thank you so much for your time i uh, wish you good luck with your practice and please be mindful about all sir. these things okay okay all right thank you